What do you want? Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Dig? Dig? Talk to me, brother. You know why I did it. First of all, I ain't your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Dig! Come on, damn it! It wasn't personal. You gotta know that. There was no other way. Talk to Iron Mike, please. You tell him. Tell him I was just trying to save the camp. That's all I ever wanted. Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. We're gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Dick, you gotta listen to me, brother! What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Dick, I was just trying to stop Carlos. Stop the Rippers, and keep this camp safe! This is our life, Dick! You know what? I think we're gonna do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Dick! Dick! Damn it, listen to me, Dick! I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. And I didn't mean for it to go down this way. Dick! Listen to me! Dick! This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The war on terror? Global warming? None of that matters now that we're in the shit. But it's all just part of the goddamn conspiracy. So listen up. The war on terror was just smoke and mirrors. Started by good old Uncle Sam, using war as an excuse to look for weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global warming? Just a bunch of lying scientists, well in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all of this, just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their ass off. Is that about it? So, Jesus. That's, uh, it's actually pretty good advice for once. A little late, but it's good advice. Swing by the camp. I need to talk to you. Hey, uh, Ricky. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll be by. Deacon out. What do you want? Deke, uh, I got a job for you. <laughs> One only you can handle. What do you got? You remember the other day I took you by the dig site? Food came up missing? Yeah, Wheeler was on watch. He was doing more than watching. He was robbing us blind. He and a few men took hey, off to a camp north of Patchen's Lake. Work. You know the one? Hey, back to yeah, work. I know it. Find hey, no, the no, bastard no, 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 and kill him. I'm He's work. got a pocket watch. Still it. works. <laughs> Bring it. Stop. Wheeler, Stop. got it.
Euler. There's that son of a bitch. Yeah? Tucker. I got him. Nice job. I guess Wheeler's sorry he messed with Ada Tucker now. No, I'm guessing he's not feeling a whole lot of anything. <laughs> I've updated your credits. And you wait and see. I'm still gonna find a way to talk you and Boozer into joining us here. Become a part of the family. Yeah, good luck with that. Hey, Ricky. What's up? Mitchell and a couple guys were on a run northwest of here, when they were hit by a group of drifters. They tracked them back to a camp north of Milakwa Lake. Okay, so Mitchell and the others, they didn't take them out? They're not drifters, Deke. And Mitchell's just a kid. I don't even know if he, if he can use a gun. What the hell are they doing out in this shit? Look, I need you to do this. Lost Lake needs you. Okay, okay. Great, I'll take care of it. Thank you. Ricky, I'm at Malakwa Lake. Yeah, there's a camp full of drifters here. Can you handle them? Uh, yeah, I got this. Deacon out.
That's why you thought you just set up camp in Lost Lake territory, had the run of the place. Murderers and thieves, the lot of you. What's up? Ricky, it's done. I cleared out the camp full of drifters north of Malacqua Lake. <sighs> Thanks, Deke. I'll let Iron Mike know. I'll be sure to let Mitchell know it's safe to play outside again. He's just a kid, Deke. Yeah, well, if he wants to live long enough to become an adult, he better start learning how to use a gun. Yeah, you're right. I'll start working with him. Thanks, Deke. Lost Lake. Come in. Hey, Mike. What's up? Ricky told me you took care of that drifter camp north of Malacqua Lake. Yeah, they won't uh, be bothering us anymore. Hey, Mike, that kid, Mitchell, he really shouldn't be going out on runs unless he can take care of himself. Yeah. God damn it. I'll take care of it. Thanks, Deke. Iron Mike out. I gotta get the deck cord. Schizo's cabin. Let's see what you got, Schizo, old buddy. Do you think freeze? How do I ever trust this asshole? Hello. This Schizo won't be needing this. My shit list, Schizo. Yours. So, uh... Where's Willie's? Schizo, 
graduated no. with honors? What? I, I thought maybe it was the place wasn't wasn't kicked over. I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Let's see. Oh. Mm. I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof diseases. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Hey, shh. Addie. There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. still saved Boozer's life. That's got to account for something. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. I guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in peace, I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Is this some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't going to stop. Rippers ain't going to stop. And you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Boozer, I'm heading to the gate. Are you ready? Way ahead of you, brother. Okay, I'm almost there. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah, a little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, you'll be there. <laughs> Goddamn schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Part of a ride on some of those back roads. 
Jesse Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. And if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it. Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there. You just hang on. south from here. Following you.
this easy. Nope. Okay. Hey, what are you doing? Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We doing this? Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Stay low, move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Oh, never mind. Go, go. Where, where do I set the first charge? You see the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Okay, almost there. Charge. Done. All right, I'm moving on to the next one. Nice job, booze man. Keep going. You got this. Got it. It's not like you're just standing around up here. 
fourth chart. That's the last of them. Run, Boozer! I'm going as fast as I can! Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> let's, uh, let's go find Jesse. You, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? Yeah, I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Ah, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many do you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did. All right, looks like we go in on foot from here. You want to stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. Fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You wanted some payback? I wanna show him some fucking payback. Come on, let's head to the lodge. Like I said, right behind you. Jesus. This must be what it looked like after Noah's flood. Came in. Washed away all the wicked. Yeah, except God had nothing to do with this one. Yeah. You get my point. Oh, shit. More rippers. How the hell did they survive? Oh, they didn't. They just don't know it yet. Zeke! Our left! Our left! Yeah, yeah, I got this. Breaker.
know you don't. Don't let them win. Set them free. Be one with now. I am. I'm hit. I'm hit. These guys seem more jacked up than usual. Hell yeah. They must have snorted up the rest of whatever the hell drug they take. This founder, rest in peace, is fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and you kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Wilson. Brought low. Do you remember back in the day? You and Boozer held me down. Watch Jack burn the flesh from my back. Those. shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Well, with Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo said there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck okay. out of here. Well, like I said, I... I know we haven't talked in a few years. 
Guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. It probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Now and then. And what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. Hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. That's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh. Um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, ah, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now, after all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh... I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us. All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else Ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that.
was in my classroom when, uh, you know, I taught English at a small community college to a bunch of stay-at-home moms and high school dropouts.